What's up YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you the rules for one of the simplest patterns that keeps forming in the market on a regular basis. So stay tuned. Alright guys, as I said in the intro part of the video, in today's video we will cover the double bottoms and double tops rules. Uh, double bottom and double top is basically one of the simplest patterns uh, that keeps forming in the market on a regular basis. Whether you're trading stock market, forex market or any other type of the market, you will eventually see double bottoms form at the bottom of the bearish trends and the double tops forming at the top of the bullish trends. They give us a good clue so that we know and they gave us a good structure making our lives easier to put those stop losses in the correct place. So let's go to the charts and let me show you the rules and a few examples. All right, so here we are on the charts and in front of me, I have a nice double bottom example. But this is it, let me show you. Okay, this is the double bottom. This is our first swing, uh, first swing low. We have a nice retracement and then the sellers are trying to push the price down but they found they find a resistance from buyers with a, which eventually bring the price up okay and for you to understand okay you see maybe this is a double bottom but what are the exact rules to you know not the rules for engagement but rules to identify the double bottom because not every double bottom is a double bottom okay so to help you out with this uh first what i gotta say is that a double bottom can only form after a bearish move okay you cannot have a double bottom at the top of the bullish move at the top of the bullish move what you usually have if any kind of pattern happens is a double top which is a reversal pattern for the you know after a bullish move too so that the price can go down a lower 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 into a bearish move at a bottom of the bearish move you usually have a double bottom okay i hope that that is clear now let's go to the rules so to make it easier for you, the first thing you gotta do is identify the first swing, okay? And then you pick a you you pick a first bottom and mark two lines. I'm gonna bring my okay. So the first line is here, which uh, shows the lowest close of a candle, okay? Which is right here. You see that there is no close in none of those two candles close below this line here, and what you what you gotta do next is uh, pick a, a right line where is the lowest low of the bottom of the first swing, not the lowest low of the candle that has the lowest close because that you know that doesn't need to be that way. You, you could have another candle here which could close lower than this, and then you would need to uh, adjust this here to that candle but here we have almost identical candles here with the identical closes so we, we have a simple one line it's pretty easy bottom so you gotta use the next line next horizontal line to bracket it up and have this so we have this, this is lowest close and this is our lowest low okay then we have a small retracement here and then the price action starts to retest or basically yeah basically retest our first bottom Okay, our first swing low. And it comes here, I'm, I'm gonna zoom this in a little bit, okay? For you guys to better see. It comes down here and tests it with this candle right there, okay? So the rules for a double bottom is it needs to test the lowest close, but should not close beyond the lowest low, okay? And we got this in this entire second part of the bottom. It did test our lowest close and it did test our lowest low, but it did not close below our lowest low. Okay, as you can see, we, we only closed below our first close, but we didn't close below the low. So that, that means that we have a strong buyer support here. Okay, and basically that's it. Those are the rules. Okay, if you want me, I can type this here. This is our lowest close. Here is our lowest close, lowest low. Let me just drag it. This is our lowest low here. This is lowest low. 
and this is the lowest close. And we did not, on a second test, we did not, we did not close below the lowest low. We tested it, but we did not close below the lowest low. We, I repeat, on a second test, we need to test the lowest close, but not close beyond the lowest low. Okay? So even if this candle would not hit this lowest low, it would be a valid pattern. But if this candle in any chance closed below the lowest low, we have a new low, which is a lower low, lower close, and we would be, still be in a bearish trend. But here, as you can see, we did not. We found bar support here, and bars eventually pushed the price up. Okay, I hope this is clear for you. Now I, I want to go and find the same example for a double top. Okay, let's let's just see this. Let me. It should be somewhere here. Okay, very good, very good. So we have a buyer pushing the price up. Okay, and what do we have to do now? We need to identify the first test, the first swing high. Here it is. Okay, so we are again putting our horizontal line up. Highest close is here. And the highest high is this line here. So I'm going to bring my text tool. Highest close is here. And the highest high is there. Wait, this is my mistake. Highest high, highest close. See this? Highest close and highest high is this one. So, and then the buyers found their found their resistance from sellers where sellers were trying to push the price down and then they found a, a support from buyers where pro, buyers were trying to push the price up one more time but the resistance from sellers at the same point on a first swing was even higher which ended up where sellers ended up pushing the price down even further so that's why we have a test here this is a candle that confirms the buy, uh, double top and this is the candle that just tries where the buyers just try to push the price even higher but, did, but they did not succeed into it so they found a resistance from sellers and they con where sellers continue to push the price down and down and down and basically that's it guys so another thing that you need to you need to watch when you're finding these double bottoms and double tops is basically that you have a clear white space in between the first test and the second test okay also when you're first starting out maybe you want to have uh, valid rules for example what do you find a, a valid retracement okay because th that would make your life much more easier as I'm a somehow experienced trader because I've seen a lot of this uh, double bottoms and double tops I can say that this is a valid double top however some of you might need uh, some kind of a rule to identify the retracement that you need from a first test that would be maybe lower low lower close candle which we did not get here none of those candles closed below below the first the candle before it so some of you might might not find this double top valuable but I do this is strictly discretional uh, you do what you think is best for you. Rules are basically, your rules are the same, okay? Those are the rules for the uh, double top. You know, it's not, uh, rules are definitive. You need to you need to bracket up the highest high and highest close, and you need to get a test of at least of a highest close, and you need, you should not, the price action should not close above the highest high, okay? If we, if we were to have this candle close above the highest high, we would be in a bull trend because we got a new high. And otherwise, uh, you know, it, that didn't happen, so we are good. It, it is a valid double top. Yeah, I don't know. Can I find another example? For example, yeah, look, look at this. Look at this. Okay, so let's say that we are trading this live we have on we have a bear trend let's say that this is a bear trend and we have a nice first test of some kind of a level here so let's break it up this here okay this is a highest this is lowest lowest close and this is the lowest low 
So what do we need to do now? We are waiting for price action. Price action actually rallied up, find somehow some, some kind of a support here, rallied back up a little bit. Now the sellers are trying to push the price down and we are waiting for a first test of a lowest close. Okay, what do we get? Boom, a first test of a lowest close is okay. We also tested a lowest low and we did not close below the lowest low. So let me ask you, is this a valid double bottom at this point right now considering that the price action has been printing candles live okay so we do not know what's going to happen down the road is this a valid double bottom yes it is because as you can see per rules we did not close below the lowest low here we just tested it, which is absolutely fine, and we can close within the brackets, but we cannot close beyond the lowest bracket and double bottom and beyond the highest bracket on the uh, double top. So let's see what's the price action going to do afterwards. Boom. It might close us out if we have some kind of a stop loss very tight, but I don't know how tight you want to have your stop loss, okay? Uh, but I'm saying it's a still valid double bottom. Sure, it might not be a winning trade, but it's a valid double bottom. And eventually, as you can see, the price did rally up, okay? And you, it might win if you have a, a big enough stop loss here. That's why there's another lesson here on importance of backtesting, because this might be a double bottom that won eventually. I don't know. But that's the thing here. This candle is this here we had a valid double bottom even though in, we don't have a vix and even though it failed this was a valid double bottom and with that being said guys thank you very much for watching this until the end of this video those are the rules for the double bottom double tops i hope it makes it a little bit clearer for you nothing else uh, those are definitive rules if somebody says you're different uh, i don't think they know the rules for double bottom double top and this is some kind of educational video. I also do a forex market analysis each and every day so that you can see how I engage into my trades. If you like this kind of videos, consider subscribing if you're new here. And make sure to hit that like button and smash that bell button so the YouTube uh, algorithm notifies you every time I post uh, this kind of a video. Uh, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.